Hello, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Pace IT session on preventative maintenance tools for the window operating system. Today we're going to be talking about some vital maintenance tools that you need to be aware of and what they do. And with that, let's go ahead and begin this session. We're going to begin by talking about backup. Now the Windows Backup Utility provides security in case of disk failure. It can back up your operating system and your hard drives. Now for Windows XP, the way that you get to the backup function is you click Start, then All Programs, then Accessories, then System Tools, then Backup. And you follow the directions in the wizard from there. The wizard does make it easy to select which files that you want to back up. Your backups can be local or made to removable media. Now Windows Vista and Windows 7 changed things up a little bit. Vista introduced the Backup and Restore Center, which gives you more options on how backups can be made and where backups can reside. And it is available from the control panel. Now let's discuss the System Restore utility. So there are many things that can affect the stability of a PC. Loading new application, drivers, and updates are just a few things that can affect the stability. Now System Restore will return a PC to an earlier state, hopefully one that's stable. If you want to get there in Windows XP, you click Start, All Programs, Accessories, System Tool, System Restore and that'll get you to the available restore point. Now Windows will create an automatic restore point every seven days and before certain events take place. You can also manually create them as well. In Windows Vista N7, the system restore utility is available from the control panel. Once you get to the control panel, click on system, then system protection, and then system restore. Now let's discuss check disk. Hard drives can develop physical errors over time. The Windows operating system may automatically detect these problems and automatically schedule a check disk for that drive on the next reboot. Check disk can mark bad drive sectors and can attempt to recover data from those bad sectors. Check disk can also try to recover some systems files. You can run check disk manually. From Windows Explorer, right click on the disk or volume that you want to run the check disk. Select properties, select tools, select error checking, and then select the desired option to either automatically fix file system errors and or to scan and attempt to recover bad sectors. Now let's move on to defrag. Drives can become fragmented without intervention. Fragmented disks are much less efficient than ones that are defragmented. It is wise and a best practice to run defrag on spinning disks on a regular basis. In Windows XP, defrag is available from within computer management and it has to be run manually. Starting with Windows Vista and on to Windows 7, defrag can be scheduled to run automatically. Typing defrag into a search box will bring up the GUI, the graphic user interface, so that you can schedule the defragmentation process on a regular basis. Now let's talk about recovery images. So a recovery image contains an image of the operating system, it can contain images of all of the installed applications and all of the user's data. The ability to easily create a recovery image was introduced in Windows Vista with the complete PC Backup and Restore utility. And it's available from the Backup and Recovery Center. Windows 7 changed things just a little bit. The utility is now called Create a System Image and is available from the Backup and restore applet. Now a word on recovery partitions. A recovery partition is an image and it's installed by the original equipment manufacturer. If you end up using the recovery partition 
you should be aware that user data and installed applications will be lost, but the system will be returned to the factory original condition. Now that concludes this session on preventative maintenance tools for the Windows operating system. And we did discuss quite a few of those preventative maintenance tools. Now on behalf of Pace IT, thank you for watching this session and I look forward to doing some more.